Woo! Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back, my fellow flying enthusiasts. I want to show you how much fun I had with my para thingies this weekend. First on Saturday, Mother Nature blessed El Paso, Texas with strong, steady winds out of the north that made it perfect for practicing landings over and over and over again. If the conditions are just right as they were on this day, landings are my favorite part of this sport since I can constantly improve upon this fun and necessary task. One could argue that practicing in such strong conditions isn't as beneficial as one might suspect, considering that the high winds change the inputs. For those of you who don't fly yet, with a big emphasis on yet, it might be like practicing soccer in the rain. It's, it's not typical, but it might be fun. I mean, I was able to become more familiar with the high wind twitchiness in the yaw axis that's common with expert level gliders, but come on, doesn't this look like a hell of a good time? I love flying alone, but on this Saturday, I was joined by many of my friends, my wife and kids, and my nephew, who uh, took all the footage, so thanks, Nikki. So you just pull on that thing? Sunday was my very first experience being pulled into the sky with a tow rope that was over a mile long. The day went a little something like this. What do you think? Hell yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I did great, I did great, man. Uh, come here, you. You hate money. No, I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you feel it now when you did you go yet, Clint? No, he was the first one. Do you want to go? Well, I want to. I want to see it done. Oh, f dude, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's good. How long is that line? Uh, it's it's about a mile. Holy smokes! Clint is uh, clipping in with this like quick release, so that once the operator, the tow machine operator, gets him to altitude, he just basically pulls something that cuts him free from this this line and this line over here that connects to the back of his truck it's kind of like on a fishing reel and it's going to fish it out slowly higher and higher and higher kind of get butterflies just thinking about <laughs> going up so high it's like a mile long clint has opted for the forward launch so uh tell us how excited you are right now <sighs> Hey, if he hits my wing, he's, I'm gonna fly the other way. <laughs> Ooh! Woo! He almost shredded it! Oh, that's it. I'm gonna go and come back, I think. Coronavirus ain't got shit on me. I flew to Mexico! <laughs> Estados Unidos! <to> Mexico! <laughs> Wild ride. Okay. You're gonna use my wing or yours? There's no thermaling, so. Uh. Probably yours. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I'll use mine. Which would you bring? Uh, the warp. 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 No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's like the warp. Yeah. The warp. The warp. <laughs> hey, if I throw my wing in the air, I could do it again right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you could. <laughs> exciting yeah yeah that's yeah. one way to put it <laughs> let me say let me say well I'm, I'm Anthony Pella I'm the best paramotor pilot in the world <laughs> <laughs> what sort of midget was in this Seems like, all right I'm gonna go up there the wild blue yonder <laughs> <laughs> or no. 
Don't give him the option, just give it to him. I'm honestly nervous. <laughs> So you, oh. you just pull on that thing? Yep. Yeah. You just Give it a little tug. Cool. Victory toot 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 toot. <laughs> so a couple of key things when you're towing, stay right behind the truck. Okay. Don't, don't go off to either side. If you have any kind of malfunction, you got a cravat that isn't popping out or you have a, a, a collapse or anything, release. Okay. No okay. <laughs> What does this do? <laughs> Covers your pee pee. <laughs> this protect, protect pee pee. pee, -pee. <laughs> that protect my pee pee. Have you seen my baseball? <laughs> so I'll let you know I'm ready to go. Okay. And then as soon as I see a bow, then I'll start going. Now you gotta okay. put your foot behind. A curtsy. A, little curtsy? a curtsy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Nope. Okay. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> Nicely executed. Let's go ahead and lean over this way. Keep it right over the road as, as he's uh, outlined. I'm connected to that truck way down there. So my basic assignments is just to stay right down this road. And, and let's see, whoa, shit. we're getting up there. It's going good. I'm having a great time. It is uh, around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock. I don't know. Shit. I have no idea, actually. Somewhere around that time. And, and there's the border of Mexico. My very first tow is, is almost in another country. I'm on a 23-meter Dudek Universal, which is uh, too small to, to thermal in, I imagine. Unless the thermaling conditions were super strong, which... I don't imagine they are today, because that probably wouldn't be my first towing experience. All right. Woo! I'm free! Hey guys, Future Anthony here, and uh, I, I just wanted to share with you some of the thoughts of this flight. You know, I wasn't actually thinking about narrating this flight as I was doing it, um, but looking at the footage now as I'm editing it, I, I definitely wanted to acknowledge the fact that my legs are spread very, very wide, and I apologize for that, but it's totally because of the harness. I was using the Ozone Oxygen 2, and I was really kind of uncomfortable, but I was, I was at the same time really enjoying the experience, so... Yes, this was my first time. When I do it again next time, I think uh, I will have a different harness. It feels so weird in this harness. Right there, this harness didn't fit right. Anyways. What a trip. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. And uh, what, I, what I'm reflecting on is the I Suck It Paragliding series, wow. which I thought I might title this one that, you know, like I Suck It Paragliding Part 4. Because I'm still very interested in paragliding, I'm just the slowest learner. And it's really weird because I I know that I'm the world's greatest paramotor pilot. Come on, everybody knows that. No, I'm totally f***ing kidding. But seriously, I, I can't seem to get over the overwhelming fear of being blown over the back of a mountain. So this might be a step in the right direction. If you guys ever get offered an opportunity to go and be towed up, take it. From the time that I did this towing flight, I got home, put this footage on the computer, and just started editing it, you know, a few hours every day, all the way up until today, Friday, the day that I'm posting this. So if you want to help me out, the best thing you can do is just click that like button, and if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing, and, and it helps out my channel. Well, <laughs> was that fun? Yeah, that was awesome. You were just like swinging around up there just here. Yeah. Look at Steven, I kept it off the road. <laughs> I honestly thought you were trying to land in the back of the truck. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you very much for all the support that you've given me. I very much look forward to seeing all of you in the comments in the next video. Uh, yeah, future Anthony out. Oh, by the way, thanks Woody for the idea of doing that. Sorry for taking it. There he is right there. Batman Clinchamales. Hi! <laughs>